Why do scuba divers fall backwards out of the boat? Because if they fell forwards, they'd still be in the boat. Today, I'm going to recap a 2023 action thriller film called Hypnotic. The film opens with the protagonist, Danny Rourke, snapping back to reality after being drawn out of the predicament he finds himself in. Danny finds himself seated in his psychologist's office, undergoing another mandatory assessment to determine if he's fit to return to his duties as a police officer. Complying with the psychologist's request, he starts discussing the most horrific day of his life, the event that led him to this very office. Several years prior, he was enjoying a peaceful afternoon in the park with his young daughter Minnie, but a momentary lapse in attention turned his world upside down. During these few seconds of distraction, Minnie was abducted from the park, never to be seen again. Suspicions led him to a young man named Lyle Terry, who he subsequently detained. However, Lyle staunchly denied any involvement in the kidnapping, claiming his mental illness had erased any memory of Minnie. Despite years passing and no evidence found, Danny has remained stuck in time, unable to progress. He has now been deemed fit for service by his therapist. Reuniting with his partner Nick, Danny heads to a local bank in response to an anonymous tip about a potential bank robbery. The mystery deepens with Nick's report, as two other branches of the same bank had been robbed earlier with only a single safety deposit box stolen each time. Upon arriving at the bank with their surveillance team, the detectives stumble upon an intriguing situation. A man is managing to control a crowd merely through his speech, creating chaos, enabling him to break into the bank and ensuring his own safety. Spurred into action, Danny rushes into the bank in an attempt to apprehend the man. In the locker area, he discovers the deposit box that the man was targeting. To his shock, the box contains a photograph of his missing daughter Minnie and a handwritten instruction to seek out someone named Lev Delrain. Opting to keep the photograph to himself, Danny watches as the man from the video, who is Delrain, hypnotizes the bank receptionist. Delrain, a hypnotist, has manipulated everyone in the bank. However, he has already removed the contents of the box and left a bomb in the hands of the hypnotized receptionist. Determined to catch him, Danny chases Delrain to the roof of a building, where he confronts him. In a shocking revelation, Delrain confesses to having hypnotized two officers into killing each other, much to Danny's dismay. Once again, Delrain escapes before Danny can apprehend him. Not giving up, Danny and Nick quickly locate the anonymous tipster who alerted the police about the bank robbery. They end up at a psychic's shop, a woman named Diana. Confident in their suspicion that Delrain is likely responsible for multiple kidnappings, Danny disregards his police duties and hurries to Diana's residence. He discovers from her that she knew about the bank heist through one of her clients and had contemplated alerting the authorities. However, before any further discussion, Delrain shows up and attempts to assassinate Diana using one of her clients. It becomes clear that Delrain is a masterful psychic who can manipulate individuals' thoughts and command their actions with ease. This is how he executed the bank heists, controlling security personnel, bank employees, and even a bystander to seize the box. However, what Delrain truly seeks is the photograph of Minnie, which was supposed to be in the box but is now in Danny's possession. It is for this reason that Delrain is now hunting Danny. Diana discloses the real nature of her profession and Lev Delrain's. She informs Danny about a covert government entity known as the Division. This clandestine program was created by the U.S. government for individuals with minor psychic abilities, with the goal of enhancing their skills to manipulate others' minds, a straightforward mission. Diana was part of an initiative where the government planned to use mind control to resolve political and other disputes. Delrain was another participant in the program, receiving his training at the division. However, he proved to be the most potent psychic amongst them. Intrigued by the prospect of unbounded mind control, Delrain's abilities surpassed those of his trainers. He attempted a coup to take over the division with several other agents, including Diana. Sensing Delrain's imminent escape, she left the division and cut ties with the group. To demonstrate her abilities to Danny, who initially rejects the idea of such supernatural telepathic skills, she takes control of Nick. 
Del Rey manipulates Nick's mind when he arrives at the police station, leading to Diana fatally shooting Nick. They escape to a cafe where the sheriff recognizes them, and Diana uses her powers to hypnotize the sheriff, facilitating their getaway. A police officer catches up with them outside the cafe, but Diana hypnotizes him, allowing them to escape. Danny observes this and absconds, taking refuge in a train depot. He hallucinates trains whizzing around him, but it's all in his mind. Del Rain finds him, accompanied by two officers, but Diana intervenes with a truck, eliminating the officers. Spotting Del Rain's departure, Danny and Diana make their own escape. When Danny informs Diana about the incident, she theorizes that he possesses an unknown, uncontrollable power. She takes him to a former division colleague, now residing in Mexico, who clarifies that Del Rain is after something known as Project Domino. While Diana was open to the idea of their child being used for experimental research, Danny was adamantly against it. Aware that the division would soon attempt to take Minnie, Danny had hidden her away, subsequently erasing his own memories to ensure her safety. This was a fail-safe measure. If anyone attempted to read or control his mind, they wouldn't be able to locate the girl, as Danny knew the division would be on the hunt for Domino. The experiences we've been privy to and those Danny has lived through were captivating, but all have been artificially implanted constructs within Danny's mind. The idea was that upon seeing Minnie's photograph and the words Find Del Rain, which Danny had written before wiping his own memory, he would recall Minnie's hiding place. Unaware of the simulated reality he was experiencing, Danny would instinctively try to find Minnie thereby revealing her location to the Division and enabling them to capture her. Following the revelation of all this, Danny's mind is wiped clean again. The simulation has been run on him a dozen times, but to no avail. What the Division doesn't realize is that Danny had established certain triggers that gradually helped him recall information from the previous simulation. On the 13th run, he manages to break free from the loop. Recognizing that Find Del Rain is an anagram for Deer Valley Lane, where he'd hidden Minnie, Danny makes his escape from the Division's headquarters. Discovering the same information, the Division pursues Danny with their full complement of psychics and soldiers. Danny had left Minnie in the care of his adoptive parents, Carl and Thelma, for the past two years. The location, due to its isolation and distance from populated areas, makes sense, but the two-year time frame remains puzzling until another significant revelation unfolds. Despite both Danny and Diana's reservations about the Division taking their daughter for research, they were powerless to resist. They knew that the only way to protect their daughter from the misuse of her abilities was to eliminate all the members of the program. However, they needed Minnie's extraordinary abilities to do so successfully. Since Minnie was too young at the time, she needed two more years to fully develop her abilities. Thus, Danny orchestrated her kidnapping and hid her at Carl and Thelma's residence. Afterward, Danny and Diana erased their own memories. While Danny was captured by the division, Diana continued to work undercover within the clandestine operation. Currently, Minnie is leveraging her abilities to restore Diana's memory, while simultaneously commanding all the Division's troops to annihilate each other. The entire scene at the farmhouse is an illusion conjured by Minnie, while they are actually located in a remote desert region. Now Delrain, also known as the Director, employs every tactic at his disposal to prevent the family from dismantling the Division. However, his endeavors are thwarted when Minnie persuades him to turn the gun on himself. The family, Danny, Diana, Minnie, and Thelma, are now united and free, embarking on their new lives beyond the reach of the Division as they escape in one of the helicopters. Carl promises to join them once he has taken care of the chaotic aftermath and corpse-filled scene. He approaches the body of the seemingly deceased Delrain. But in an unexpected twist, the body on the ground is actually Carl's, and the man posing as Carl is in fact Delrain. He used hypnosis to make everyone perceive him as Carl, a tactic that enabled him to survive the chaos. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.